Yo, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at the new Nike Air Zoom Super Red. Not so new, but worth taking a look at. Let's go. So for the, all of those who are new to the channel, my name is Patrick T. I take a look and review sneakers and trainers, which I think most people want to buy or haven't got the time to go to the shops and review. So I look at them, give you my honest opinion, how they feel on a day-to-day -day basis, how much they cost, whether they're true to size or not. And I help you make that decision to either cop or drop. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you've seen this channel before and you already have subscribed, again, just please hit that like button. And if you haven't hit, not hit the notification bell already, please hit that again. So let's just get into this. This is the Air Zoom Super, Super Rep. It's a HIT designed trainer. So HIT is high intensity workout. So it's designed to deal with things like from spinning to aerobics to circuit training, etc., etc. So the whole design of this trainer is to take impact of all that kind of movement, lock your feet in. Okay, so let's just have a look at the trainer from the outside in terms of aesthetics. So straight away, it's a different design. You're gonna either love it or hate it. I, it's grown on me. <laughs> That's all I can say, it's grown on me. But let's take it from the sole. As you can see, there is a clear wide pattern. It looks like a, hoof like a you know a pig's hoof but the reason for that is in these two placements here is the air zoom unit underneath that is what they call the containment shield now that is meant to take the impact what you put onto the air zoom units and keep it solid from any shaking or things like that you can get really technical but again if you just look at so two zoom cushion units are there the design of the foot, the design of a shoe is so, it, they say it's for helping you with burpees so your foot lands in the position where it's supposed to be. The heel of the shoe is very cushiony. This isn't like a, how do you put it, a Nike React cushion in for like running. This is solid. Yeah, there's no movement in it. It's very firm, but I can see it will take the impact when you land. Going to the top of the shoe, this is like, they've got like a, like a sock over the shoe. This is a nylon type webbing. It carries all across the front of the shoe on the top here and comes round to the side where it's fused in there. Underneath this webbing, I should say, is a spongy sock type material. It feels like the kind of material they use on fleeces and things like that. Down the middle of the tongue, it says super rep right in there. And the laces are intertwined into the shoe and you can feel them inside. They just go in and out. This shoe on foot is very snug. I, I, I had difficulty putting this on with my socks on. I feel like I needed to get thinner socks, but the size of the shoe is true to size. I wouldn't go any higher because I think the whole point is that it molds to your feet. So there's no movement, there's no chance of this shoe, you know, slipping while you're doing your exercise. Um, it does twist, don't know if you can see that. So obviously it will twist with your feet when you land and things like that. So I understand the design why it's cut out here because it gives you that flexibility from your heel to your forefoot. Oh, just there on this side, on the inside near the air zoom unit, it's got a night tick in the words air. And on the outside, it's got the words air and zoom at the top there. There is a, on the inside, going back to the inside, there's a tick 
and with some writing it says designed for high intensity classes and on the outside there is a tick underneath the webbing which is the normal night tick. A very broad shoe when you look down at it now I understood with the air zoom units that they make it look broad they want it to be broad but what it does is allows you to place your foot completely on the floor there's no slippage whatsoever when you put your foot down so in terms of the pricing of this I think it's about 105 pounds on that website I'm sure you can get some cheaper deals somewhere else this is the complete all black silhouette, but there are many different colors. I chose black because it's the only way I could get my size. <laughs> but then again, I do like just wearing black trainers in the gym. I'm, I don't go right into the big, you know, colorful trainers and things like that. But I think if you buy trainers, they do, some look better in different silhouettes than they do in other silhouettes. So for me, this is a hit. If you want it purely for working out, this is the one. If you want it to, on an everyday, I don't think it's as comfortable as something like the two cent reacts or any react cushioning, what Nike now do. So, like I said, if it's purely for gym, great. If it's for everyday wear, I don't think this is the most comfortable trainer. So, if you like what you heard, please, once again, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll be back at you again. Peace.